Well, from a leaked FBI memo to the arrest of a British priest, the signs seem to point to a crackdown on Catholics in Britain. Father Sean Goff was charged for silently praying outside of a closed abortion clinic last week. Meantime, a leaked memo from the FBI field office in Richmond, Virginia, which the FBI has since retracted, warned that so-called radical traditional Catholics could be a threat to national security. Attorneys general from 20 states wrote a letter to the FBI director condemning the memo. Richard, Richmond Bishop Barry Nestow followed suit, calling it troubling and offensive to all communities of faith as well as all Americans. And joining us tonight from the campus of Franciscan University in Steubenville, Ohio, is Father Dave Pavanka, president of Franciscan University. Father Dave, welcome. Great to have you with us. Um, as you Thank know, you. this FBI memo even suggested infiltrating the Latin Mass. Your reaction to this, Father Dave, I mean, what is so concerning or nefarious about the traditional Latin Mass, which you celebrate at Franciscan? We, we do, Tracy. It's just, it's just outrageous. Actually, when I first saw this, I thought it was like a joke, that, that this isn't possible. It made me think I had the pleasure of living in Europe for a couple of years and got to be friends with some individuals who were raised in the Eastern Bloc countries. And they said that when they were growing up, they remembered the communist officials would be outside the church, paying attention to who was coming to church and checking off names and writing names. And they knew the families were going to have a negative consequences for coming to church. I mean, that was something happening in the communist bloc. I can't imagine that the government is paying attention and concerned about who's going to worship and who's going to Eucharist. I mean, it just points out the profound divide that we're experiencing between government, religion, faith, politics. It's just, it's, it's absolutely outrageous. Yeah, it's so baffling. I mean, from the FBI memo to the priests arrested in England, you know, this seems so alarming. What kind of signal do you think this sends to Catholics? And how do you perceive these actions? Yeah, I think out alarming, outrageous, offensive, ridiculous, scary, frightening, overreach. I mean, all of those, you, you pick the word. What, what becomes more and more evident is that we are seeing a divide and a gulf in our culture of people, men and women of faith, who want to be faithful to, to God in the way that they worship and their religion, and a government that now looks on that, not only just with suspicion, but actually antagonistic against it, that they're trying to break it down. I mean, how many years ago, decades ago, people of religion and people of faith were seen as part of the solution. When there were struggles and difficulties in the culture, people of faith would come together and help fix that. The reality now is, I'm afraid, is that we're seen as the problem. People who just want to be able to worship with their family, who want to go to liturgy, who want to worship in a particular way, now we're part of the problem. We're the enemy. As I knew we were going to be able to have this opportunity to talk this afternoon, and I was praying this morning, and the text I got was from John, and it's where Jesus says, in the world you will find trouble. The reality is, I think, honestly, sadly, we're going to see more of this. We're going to see more trouble. We're going to see more persecution. And for what? Simply for Catholics being faithful Catholics and standing up for what we understand to be true and right. And we're also reminded that Jesus says, fear not, I've conquered the world. But I think we need to stand up and we just need to be faithful to who we are as Catholic Christians. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Father Dave, we're almost out of time, but I want to switch gears. So I want to get this in. I want to talk about uh, the topic of journalism. And next month, EWTN is going to partner with Franciscan University for a two-day conference that's going to take place in D.C. Uh, to discuss the state of journalism today. Tell us a little bit more about this conference and why it's so important. Well, first off, I'm really excited to be collaborating with EWTN on this. But I, actually, I think there's a connection is that we're living in a world where there is a rift and a divide between, I just think, authentic, balanced journalism and the church. And the reality is, is I've had experiences in my own life as president of the university where somebody said they want to interview me on one topic, which was like a lovely topic, like a graduation or something like that. But as soon as we get in the middle of the interview, they were asking questions that were way out of bounds, that were so inappropriate because it became a clear, clear that there was an agenda. So what we want to be able to do is to talk about what does it look like to have authentic journalism uh, that is not guided by an agenda or by a particular activism, but really recognizes that there's a truth, there's um, a sense of integrity, 
to a journalist that we're seeing lacking in the country today. So to be able to work with the EWTN and everybody's invited, it doesn't just have to be a journalist. If you're interested in the nature of media and journalism, we'd love you to be a part of this conversation. Yeah, it's going to be a great, uh, great event. Wonderful panel. We're looking forward to it. And Father Dave, thank you so much for coming on and weighing in on everything. We appreciate it. God bless you. As, as always, it's a blessing.